Hello everyone, the Pokemon Fan 993 here, back from Pokemon Taste G Live. So today we're going to make and test a um, Steel Deck, because I have not made a Steel Deck in quite some time. I actually tried this before, but for whatever reason, none of the cards would load, so I had to literally restart the game in order to get that to work, which shouldn't happen, but whatever. Alright, so we're just selecting Steel, all... We're doing all the cards, not the ones I just own. This first card we see here, we see Agron, Merciful Strike, New York Tax, don't seem to be that good about this one max 270 for five that's even not that great let's not do him then <laughs> so next thing we're going to write, you're going to go into back in here and we're actually going to scroll down to basic because it'll bring up all the v cards as well glorian berserk where have i seen this before for each card in your hand it's not terrible we draw three cards actually not that bad um how much to exchange for 750 let's do one Put them in the my deck for right for right now. Iron Tread EX. This deck does 30 damage to three your Pokemon. Because my wheels which bone when your bench Pokemon or seven egg wheels, my bad. And this one, Iron Cord Rock doing damage, you may discard all future booster iron since this Pokemon. If you do during your post next turn, this Pokemon takes 150 less damage from attack at point weakness and resistance. Interesting. Excuse me for one second, guys. I forgot to mute my goddamn phone. Because I've mentioned this nine times before, but every time I try to do this, like a video, I always get message. And it, it never fails any time. So we're going to put treads in there for right for now. Um, I remember I had Mel Metal V for some... Yeah, that's a Steel Energy Attached one. Dialga, Radiant Jirachi, Radiant Steelix. So look what else do we have? Zenzamenta, Revenge Blast, that's just 30 damage to your private place. Pokemon, not that great. Zacian. That only really works if there's a Vmax po Max Pokemon on there in play. Wait, is that it? That's it for all steel Pokemon? Wow, that is really bad. Um <sighs> Alright, let's have a look at some of the other ones here. Hawaiian, choosing pets for each of the Pokemon search deck for basic energy. Actually, not bad for whatever it's. Okay. Let's do one of these. I think Hawaiian would be good just for that one attack. Like I said, I don't know if this deck's going to work very well, but. Okay, so now we're off the basic mod. Let's, have, let's go into like. um. Let's get rid of where the basic part was. And then we're going to go to, like, Pokemon, like, we're going to choose, um, Aggron. I want to see, like, is Aggron any good, any of the Aggrons? Counter press, heavy impact. It's not terrible. Um, okay, so Aggron's probably a no-go. Um, what about Metagross? Each opponent's turn, if you drew this Pokemon from the beginning of your turn, you may put it on your bench before we do that. You may put it in your bench if you do draw three cards. It's 100 more damage. It's not bad. What about this one? Let's give him a shot. Exchange two of them. So I had the credits for him easily. Put two of them in the deck. So now we're going to have to look for the other one. Let's see. Beldum in its first form. Deck for a card. Put shuffle. Put your deck on top of it. Okay. And Dig Claws. Iron Tackle. I'm going to use that one, I think. And then we have... What's his metal form again? Matang. You may want to have cards your deck and take... And put my ammo extra for deck in the... Wow, it's actually really good for... I, should, I probably should just by default use that one. Let's exchange it for one more. And add those two. So that brings me up to nine Pokemon. I want 20 in my deck. You Pokemon, like, they're going to be hard to come by, so... Oh, you can still use Copper Jaw. Ooh. Oh, 
I gotta use him then. For those that don't know, I, is this the right copper jaw? Or am I thinking of a different one? Copper. No, this is the right one, I think. Let's see. Nose Quake, 260. Yeah, it does a shit ton of damage. It does the third damage to each of my Pokemon, but it's still really good, and it takes three less damage for attack. So, yeah, I'm going to have to use him. So, we're going to put... Should do three. Let's do two. And then we need Cuffent, which is its pre-evolved form, which is, this is the only one that they have. I didn't realize you could still use him. I used him in one of my other decks that I was using before they uh, they swapped it all again. Okay, so we're going to throw the extra cuff in. Now we got to look for about seven more Pokemon, give or take. Skeletal Ridge EX. I say that was like it's made for a fire deck. It's fine. By the way, I am not going to use Golingo here because that is very basic to use. I understand that. It's probably one of the better Pokemon in the entire thing, but still. Aegis Slash is actually not bad for Aegis Slash, but I don't know if... Hmm. What else we got here? Magnera. Not that great. It's not great either. Oh, they have Memetal and Memetal V Max. I didn't realize they had that. This is more damage for each extra... You attach this Pokemon in addition to this card attack. You can add 120 more damage in this way. It's not bad. I guess I'll do exchange for one of those. No, exchange two for the other one, I guess. Or do I want to do one and one? Maybe we should do one and one. Hang on. Mel. There it is. One of those. Did it go in? I did not. One of those. In exchange for one of these. I'm glad I those credits actually come in handy sometimes. More than the coins do. And one of those to the deck. We're up to 15 Pokemon now. Reverum. You can have four tools at times. That's interesting. I apologize if you can hear that. I know who I, I know who just showed up at my door. So, <laughs> all right. So I think I want to use Vroom and Reverum. That one's really good at poison, so I probably should use two of those, and then and we'll do two of these, I guess. And then I need, just need one more Pokemon. I need to exchange for one of these. Actually, it's fine. I'm running out of cards though, so now I just need a basic a, po a Pokemon that could be used for energy. So if I type in energy, I wonder if anything pops up. Heat ran. Hmm. What else we got here? This card special energy. That's not that great. Orthworm. What's this? It's three more energy. It's 100 HP. It's not terrible. Zation. Bray Blade. Zazamenta. Discard cards from the top of your deck to only one room. Oh, that is a very d big desperation move. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Oh, we have Mag Magnezone too, don't we? <sighs> Alright, I'm going to have to make a change here. I think I'm going to get rid of um, Beldum and all of them. Because I want to use him if he's, I'm able to use him. So we're going to get rid of these guys. And then it brings me with seven left. I want to go to... So we got Ma we went for Magnemite. I forgot Magnemite can also be Steel. So Mag... Nah. Okay, Magnemite. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay, so that brings me up to 19 again, but that's fine. I didn't realize I could still use him, but I could use him. So, like, I have a bunch of things to get energy in my hand. I just need a way to get Pokemon into my thing. What's this? I forget. Such a rose that let's put him in there. Okay, so that takes care of all that. So now I have to go to the energy. This one should be rather easy. We're just input steel. Or not. Apparently that doesn't work. So we got a bunch of steel energy. Do we have anything here that's, that could be used for that? Doesn't seem like. What is Neo Upper Energy? Hmm. 
I guess we'll just intact, get, do a bunch of 20 of these. Since there isn't any special ones. Now we're going to go to Trainer. So we have quite a few ones that need to evolve. So I think adding one or two rare candies would be a good idea. Those are no rare candies. If you have a Pokemon that is a basic and you have the other Pokemon in your thing, but it's not directly evolved from it, you can still evolve it. For example, if I put, if I had a Magnezone in my hand and a Magnemite on, on the field somewhere, I'd use a rare candy to evolve it, just skip past Magnezone and go straight to Magnezone. So we're going to put two of those in there. Um, we have to go with some basic ones I always use. So we're going to go for, type in Boss. We're going to put two of those in there. That's for switching, forcing the opponents to switch out. We're going to put in Steel now. We're going to see if anything pops up for Steel, if there's anything useful for Steel. Apparently not. All right, so what else we got here? So there's one card I can grab here. I'm probably going to have to use it, and this is the... Ma These are special trainers I'm going to use once, but I'm going to use the Master Ball for this. Knock that off, and then we're going to go through, basically just look at what we need. That right there is a good card. I've seen people use it, but I haven't used it myself in a while, or at all, I think. And then, what's this? Oh, okay. We're going to put him on top of that. Let's, let's just search for, let us use cards for that. We're going to choose a card called Lady. This allows us to basically, um, whoops. Allows us to search a deck for... Four basic energy going to put into our hand, which will be very useful. And then... We're actually going to put energy in here. I think something might pop up if we do. Oh, if I put, type it in right, it might. Let's see. Crushing Hammer, Dark Patch, Candice. Actually, let's get rid of one of the... One of you for an Earthen Vessel. Earthen Vessel lets me discard an energy... Or a card to search for my deck for two energy cards. He's she's really good too. Let's put her in there. What else we got here? Nice charisma, lady. Mirror gate, moonlit hill, poppy. What does this do? Take another one of your Pokemon. It's not terrible. Maybe we should try that. Okay, I think that's about it. That's for psychic energies. That's not gonna help us. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, trying to think what else I use. Electric generator is no good here. I'm um, probably gonna need at least one of those just to draw cards. Oh, I you know. It's a good one. Always a good one to use. Force my opponent to use to to draw or reshuffle their hand too. So, what else we got here? Yuri does not that great in this deck. Let's see. Got the Master Ball already. Can't use another purple one. Nest Ball is going to be a good one to have. Paradise Resort. Each side up and play. That's a very interesting thing. Hmm. What else we got here? What else we got here? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Not really a lot left, to be honest with you. All right, so we're going to have to think of something kind of outside the box here. I do have... Don't I have... It's a couple of, I got only got one feature Pokemon, though. That really wouldn't do much good. The booster wouldn't. Arc Phone. Let's see what else we got here. That's basically a redraw card. Probably should keep, have that. Clive. Draw two cards, use four cards you find there. Let's do a crushing hammer. That might be good. Draw two cards. Ooh, that's actually not bad, but I don't know if I want to do that. Cards where you hand a bomb, if you do draw until you have five cards in your hand, you only have no other cards you can hit. Okay. What else we got here? Point energy attachable if you do attach energy from your hand. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Let's do that. So now we need three left. Let's put a one of you in there. That'll help us. Did it, did it go in there? Okay. Now it went in there. Now I got two cards left I can use. 
Two evolution Pokemon, that's immediately good. And then one more. Let's do the leftovers. Okay. So now we're going to name this deck Steel. Whoops. Steel Deck Standard. In parentheses. Perfect. Now we're going to go back and we're going to try out this new deck. I will only do one match. Um, maybe I'll do a second one if the first one is absolute bullshit, but who knows. Because there's a fair chance that the po person could have a fire deck. Which obviously is the weakness to steel Pokemon. Open up my pop. It might be a fire deck. Problem with steel deck is there's so many damn fire decks, it's hard to use it. Tails. So, okay, he could, he's deciding who goes first. I'm going first, okay. This might not be that bad, though. If he gets really shitty cards, then maybe it wouldn't matter much. Okay, I got one basic Pokemon. It's fine. If I did get Brass, in my hand as well, so. Oh, he has to reshuffle, so we're going to be able to see his cards. Oh, so we actually, it might be a Grass deck. What's the second Mulligan? It's a Grass deck. Three Mulligans. Jeez, that gives me three extra cards. If I use Brassies, none of the cards are good. That would really help me. Just waiting to set up. Draw three. Not bad. Still nothing else I could put, on, put in play, but... Why do you have so many... Hmm, Alright, whatever. Okay. So I can't do anything during my first turn except play an energy card. So I'm just going to put an energy card on and end my turn. For my next turn, I can do some other stuff, though. I probably have to use Brassies because I got literally nothing else in my hand that's worth it. Attacks. Okay. Attacks on the future Pokemon by Crown EX to 20 more damage. Okay. Future booster energy. Cast okay, no retreat cost and can you do attacks to 20 more damage. Okay. Puts one energy on him. What else is he going to do? Is that it? Plays I know. Okay. That works for me. I need better cards anyway. Let's see if it gives me anything good. Oh, not bad, actually. And the only thing I really got good was good in Berserker, but I did get uh, EX, Copper Jaw, and uh, VMAX Melmetal. Techno Radar. This card in our card answer deck for two Pokemon, reveal them, put in your hand, and shuffle your deck. Okay, so he's searching his hand, his deck for two po a future Pokemon now to look for. So the issue with Iron Crown EX, and they're probably going to fix this at some point, is um, well, first he's going to swap out. That's going to be a damn... Actually, he's going to end me right here. I got a feeling, because 20, 40, 60... Yeah, he's going to end me. Because he's going to put that up, and then because it does 20 for each Iron Crown EX here, it's not going to It's gonna kill... Oh, he actually didn't uh, have any energy cards. Interesting. Oh, there's Varum, and I do have... No, I, I, oh, I had him. Wait, Copper... Oh, that's right, Copper Jaw is... Um, yeah, so let's do that. I forgot Copper Jaw is a, um, a stage 2 card, not a stage 3. I don't know why I thought it wasn't, but... Okay, so actually this is looking pretty good. We're going to end our turn. So even if he does the peak acceleration, he does get the search 2 basic cards, cards, but he's only able to do a maximum of 60 more for 100 damage. And obviously my nose thing is going to cause damage to my, my own uh, bench, but that's going to knock out his, his Pokemon. And the EX does not apply to other Iron Crown cards, so... It might not, it, it's not that great of a deck if you don't have the good cards for it. I'm going to say that. If he puts one energy on him, he can do 100 damage, but he's still going to die during the next turn. The thing I understand is why would he put the future energy on him if he's never going to use him? I would have waited and put the future energy on Mirrodon. That's what I would have done. I guess he, he used it to swap out because of the effect. So, so he's going to go for the peak acceleration thing. That's going to let him attach them to my future Pokemon anyway I like. The likes still only do 100 damage, though, because that's the maximum he's going to be able to do. I think I remember I like Copper Jaw, so he's going to do that. It's going to do, wait, seven. Oh, that's right, because it does 30 less damage because of uh, Copper Jaw's ability. Copper Jaw EX is kind of busted, to be honest with you. Now, you could argue, well, if you keep using attack, you're going to have to keep, um, you have to keep dealing damage to your Pokemon. It's actually not that bad. Okay, another room. I don't want to put him on the bench, though, because he's going to take damage from this attack. So we're going to go for Nose Quake. It's going to do 30 damage to each of my Pokemon, but it's also going to knock out his Mirrodon. 
So I could draw one card that is Magnemite. So it might come in handy later. So during my next turn, if I use Nosequake, I'm going to lose Varum. That's a given. But I don't... Yeah, if it damage with your Pokemon, he's going to need another Pokemon to, to jump back on. So I already put that one out. That means he gets another Pokemon to throw on the bench, then immediately swap out again. Although I think the future energy should only, let, should only reduce your cost to one by one uh, retreat cost instead of, of the full retreat cost. I don't know why cards really do that. So he's going to do that. He's going to search the deck for a Pokemon and put it into his hand. Iron Crown EX. Okay, so wait, what? Yeah, it. that's an interesting thought, but doesn't the effect not count for... Yeah. Each of that is that they're both Iron Crown, therefore no extra effect comes into play. He did draw his entire hand back because of that one card, though. Techno Radar again. Kind of or the, the kind of the way this works kind of busted. Oh, I see what he's gonna do. He's gonna put the cards on his bench. And he's gonna put an energy on him, and then it's not a bad idea. But the issue is, it is that you can need to keep using um the one basic attack in order for it to work. That one's Twin Shots, so the same exact card. But I will, will say that when I switched over to, from Pokemon to Yu-Gi-Oh! Or Yu-Gi-Oh! to Pokemon, I was actually kind of shocked that Yu-Gi-Oh! allows three different cards. Three of the same cards, but Pokemon allows you four. I was going to attach all the energy to him. How much damage is that going to do, though? Is it going to be enough to even hurt me? It's going to do quite a bit of damage, yeah, but it's not going to be enough to knock me out. Means I'm back where we, right where we started. Although I'm going to lose one prize card too because Varum gets knocked out. Unless I'm able to draw River Room during my next turn. Because your energy boost. I still don't think that's enough. Prism Edge, 220. Yeah, so if I use that, I'm. Well, actually, no, I don't die next turn if I do that. Poppy. Hmm. So I've got to steal, attach a steel energy to Berserker, I think. Um, Poppy, yeah, move two. That's not really that great at the moment. So we're going to go for Nosequake. It's going to knock out my Vroom, and then I'm probably going to lose Carpet during the next turn unless he doesn't attack. Which is a possibility he doesn't attack, but he did have another Riz down in his hand. Might be a lost cause, to be honest with you. This is, this is one of those decks that's real hard to get around if you're using anything besides the meta deck. Which is, sadly, that's how a lot of these TCU works now, and I'm kind of mad about that. Pokemon used to be, you could make, throw anything together and be effective, like how I did. But lately, it's becoming like Yu-Gi-Oh, where you have to have a certain amount of decks in order for certain certain stuff to work. Which I will say, and the TCU library is actually not that hard because of, um, how would I say this? Play that card again. Okay. I think I draw three prize cards, don't I? Or three cards? Yeah, I do. So that's not terrible. Could be worse. The only thing that sucks is I can't use Berserker's Treasure Rush ability very much because of that effect. Is he going to attach an energy to him, or...? No, he didn't. He didn't attack at all. That's interesting. Okay, so I don't want to play anything else, I don't think, because of Berserker's ability. So let's just do this and go for another Nosequake. I'm surprised he use the other version he had. Well, I don't know. Actually, work, that would work real... No, it wouldn't, because I'd still have two prize cards left. But at least that's another card that Berserker can use. Pull here, 2.3.0. That lets him search the top... Seven cards and play the supporter card. So he just got Arvin. He's probably gonna play Arvin to look, search for the, what, his evolution and his, yeah, he's gonna put, do that. Search for two for an item card and a Pokemon tool card and put it in his hand. Arvin's a pretty popular card. I've seen it unused in a lot of decks. What's he gonna do though? What's his next play? Robot Pod. Discard Pod of one each. Oh, it's each of your future Pokemon. Okay, that might be a bit of a problem. Is that enough to get his Iron Crown off the ground, though? Is that enough to use any of his attacks? Is he just going to... Rapid... Ver oh, he's going to... Oh, yeah, he's going to do it to do it all again, and then... Oh, my God. I, I 
I understand people like the Pokemon company. I don't, I think they focus more on how the cards look than the competitive aspect of the game because they seem to like do this a lot where they just seem to randomly throw shit on Pokemon and they're like, well, people have to figure it out. I don't. I it, it's a really weird thing. I don't understand why they do that. Good news, you can't attack during the next turn, but it might not matter. I'm just going to want to take two more prize cards now. We're about even on prize cards. Berserkers on in play now. What I what am I going to draw? How should I do this? If I attach no more energy, I can do a bunch of damage. Only 20, though. It only does 100. I guess I gotta do this, then. I can't afford to have him attack again, so I have to... I have to use Treasure Rush. And then he's gonna knock me out during my next turn, I think, anyway, so... I think this is a lost cause. Unless he swaps and then attacks with a different mom, that might happen. Hard to say what he's gonna do, though. Interesting. So now he's going to choose another Mon. If he chooses another Iron Leaves, then it's pretty much over. He's just going to swap out and then do the exact same thing he did last time. It's just a simple deck to use, too. Like, it's a beginner deck. So we'll just, he chooses Iron Leaves, then it's pretty much over. I'll forfeit right, right at that instant, then. Yeah, it's over. I really wish for, like, the victory, like, the victory pose, they would make them last smug. Like, it used to be, well, like, you'd say someone well-played and then exit, but now in this game, it's like, well, fuck you, you know what I mean? It, it's really weird. But, did I get anything for this? Wow, I didn't even do a single thing in this. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, the de deck was all right. Um, I might have to work on it a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. It was just that I was facing that guy with the future Pokemon. And I, I, I did fairly well. It's just that I didn't, um, I have to look through all the cards and everything. But anyway, that's your video. Thank you everyone for watching. You want to, I am on the road to 450 subscribers. I think we're about three or four off. Once I do, I will be doing a blind playthrough of one of the, one of two Pokemon games. But this is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.